From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm Lisa Laporte. Some 6,600 residents of several Fort McMurray neighbourhoods are allowed to return home as of today. It's thanks to progress Alberta firefighters have made battling a wildfire that forced people to flee earlier this week. Regional Municipality of Wood Buffalo Mayor Sandy Bowman says he recognizes the return to evacuated neighbourhoods comes with a range of emotions. As you make the journey home, please take your time, be safe, and reach out for help or someone to talk to if you need to. It's really important we continue to support and be there for each other. Now for the rest of the summer during this wildfire season. The municipality says recent rainy weather has helped tamp down the blaze and reduce its intensity. Canada Border Services and the Department of Fisheries and Oceans say they've made a major seizure of baby eels at Toronto's Pearson International Airport. Officials say the elvers are worth as much as a half million dollars and were set to be shipped to Asia where they're normally raised to maturity before being sold for food. The seizure comes after the federal government closed the lucrative elver fishery in March after last year's fishing season was plagued by violence and intimidation in both Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. It'll be at least six weeks before Amtrak resumes passenger train service between Montreal and New York City. Schedules show that service on the U.S. Railway between Montreal and upstate New York will be down between May 20th and June 30th because of maintenance. Israeli War Cabinet member Benny Gantz has threatened to resign from the Israeli government if it doesn't adopt a new plan for the war in Gaza. He gave a June 8th deadline. Gantz detailed a six-point plan he wants to see Israel accomplish. If we ever want to see a different place in Gaza, Hamas cannot be there and Rafah is a gate for re-emerging of Hamas in Gaza Strip. Polls suggest Netanyahu would be replaced in elections with Gantz, the most likely candidate to be the next prime minister. And hundreds of dedicated pitmasters will find out tonight who's the top chef at the World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest. That's a perfect Memphis barbecue rib right there. It's considered one of the premier cooking competitions in the U.S. And the World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest dates back to the 1970s. Host City Memphis is proud of its barbecue taste, but this competition has competitors from around the world fighting for the crown in ribs, shoulder, and whole hog. The overall grand champion earns more than $150,000 in prize money and bragging rights. I'm Jackie Quinn. This is the Canadian Press. In sports, the Dallas Mavericks look to close out their NBA Western Conference semifinal series tonight against the Oklahoma City Thunder in Game 6. Thunder coach Mark Dagno says both teams are trying to adapt to the game. I mean, it comes down to the attacks and the rhythm that we're creating um, and replicating that. I mean, Dallas is going to go back, watch that game. They're going to see plays where they gave up you know, good looks to us, and they're going to try to make improvements as well. And so um, it's a never-ending process of both teams adapting to one another and trying to be the best version of themselves. Um, and so we've got we to replicate that and be a little bit better. Stuart Skinner is getting the start in Edmonton as the Oilers play a must-win Game 6 against the Vancouver Canucks in the second NHL round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And top-ranked Iga Svantec dominated world number 2 Arena Sabalenka in straight sets today to win the Italian Open. From the Canadian Press, I'm Lisa Laporte. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. For more of today's top stories, visit the Canadian Press News.ca.